What is up everybody? This is your boy Kingdom Breaker and I'm back with another video. As you know, if you're kicking it with KB, it's all right with me. So on today's video, we are doing a little bit of Kingdom Hearts content and everything. So I am doing a reaction video into um basically all of Sora's summings on Kingdom Hearts 3 and everything. Cause I want to put more Kingdom Hearts content back on my channel and everything. Cause Kingdom Hearts is part of me and my life and everything. And so I want to do something like that. So I'm doing a reaction to all of his summons. It's not going to really be too long. Cause I know he don't have too many summons on the game. Cause if you don't know, I already beat the game already. But basically I'm just giving you my opinions and stuff on the summons and everything. And I feel like, uh, I'm kind of just going to rate them just like I do like my Wink Club video. So if you like this stuff. Comment down below what Kingdom Hearts video you want me to see for next video and all that stuff. And let's actually get right up into this. I am on YouTube, by the way, if you don't know this and everything. So there's someone else's video. But yeah, let's actually play. Together. Together. <laughs> okay, there was adorable on Dream Drop Distance. Like, Dream Drop Distance was like one of my, it's a good game to actually play. I just don't like the how they time out with stuff. So that's kind of like, okay. But that is very useful when you're trying to get around from enemies and everything. So, like, the whole bouncing thing and stuff, you get, a, get away from enemies doing that that way. Because you're up in the air and stuff. So, yeah, that's a good way to avoid enemies. And I really like how he can, like, deflate and stuff like stuff like that. Because so, so, every time he jumps, he inflates air into him. So he can deflate air and do moves like that. And then his enemy move is like an all-around attack. So I already like that. Okay, we got um Simba and everything. So he just a, he's just a big summon and everything. So he can just run around, do his little um like fire firewall, and he can do like fire jumps and stuff and everything. And then he do his fire like that's like a fire war. I'm going to say a fire war, a firewall type thing. And then I think he like his ending gets like a, a a fire tail spin or something like that and everything so I do enjoy that one a little bit too see I think yeah it's like oh it's a fireball yeah but fire tail spin whatever but I do enjoy using that too and this one okay this is record Ralph record Ralph is also a good one too I don't like using it as much as I did in the game in the actual game game type thing so but it's useful for like the stun enemies and stuff. And with Racket Ralph, you can rush in and stuff while they're stunning and everything, actually hit them and get them already dead and everything. Or you can just stun them and stuff and kind of like fence them off with the, um, you know, the uh, finish command and everything. I didn't really use, like I said, I ain't never, I really used the rush attack and stuff in Kingdom Hearts 3, so I can't really say and everything. I really didn't, I didn't really pay attention to the rush effect until like after I beat the game. I was like, wow, he really hit that effect. <laughs> So yeah, so it was kind of nice to actually use and stuff. So uh, I never used it. Like I said, I never used it. Like I didn't find out that there was a rusty fit until after I beat it. I didn't really pay attention to his commands and stuff. So I always did that. Like, I always stunt them and did the um the end command for it. Okay, this is Stitch. Stitch, I never, I never do. I use Stitch. Um. Uh, oh my gosh, I couldn't even say it right. I use his one time, one time. Once I learned what it do, it's stuff it leaves you very vulnerable. Like, see, you can get hit from doing that stuff. Like, his junk is very vulnerable. Like, it goes to like a whole array of the screen there. I think he keep making triangles everywhere and stuff. Cause he gotta make a triangle. Like, he gotta make it like a triangle match type stuff and everything. But. It's, it's also got its default because you can get hit from it. So I didn't I only use that thing once. Once I learned that it, that it happens that way and everything, I didn't really use it anymore because it's not really useful. Nah, but like once it happens, it like you see how it is, you can you know, see how it go and stuff. But I like the only Kingdom Hearts too. You gotta be here. Yeah, the Sea Spectacle. I love this one. I love Ariel's effect. Go ahead and dive in that thing. Dive in it. Okay, okay. I, I love the music. I love how you do it. Jumping right up in them, put, making them portals out in that thing. Like, yes, I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you right now, I really love it. 
Okay. Yes, oh my gosh, it gives me good fun. I love it, I love it, oh my god. Okay, so that was basically the reaction. Now we're gonna get, get into basically like the top picks or what I see as the summons, like which summons I like the best. If you can already tell, number one, it's automatically gonna be like um, Ariel, the Sea Spectacle type thing. So yeah, I'm definitely going with that uh, as number one. And then number two, I'm gonna go with the. Um, the demon, uh, uh, the the dream eaters and everything because they're effective with a lot of stuff because with the dream eater you can jump into the air to avoid enemies and everything you can like swim slam down on them and then you can deflate and stuff and then this end and finish command can also you no know, help get rid of most of the enemies around. Number three would be rid of Wreck It Ralph. Um, Wreck It Ralph is like he's able to stun enemies, and he have different blocks to stun them, in, like in the air or on the ground or from all directions. So his is every is very much effective in the way. So I'm gonna have to give that to Wreck It Ralph for the third part. Number four, I have to give it to uh, Simba from Lion King and everything. His moves are. It's an all-around thing and stuff. He got the, uh, the fire jump and then he got a uh, fire roar and everything. So it's like an all-around thing, but it's still kind of not the best thing I actually like and stuff. And then his finish command is an all-around thing too. Where he do like his fireball. So it was like okay, like it's pretty cool and everything to actually use and stuff. So I can't really comment, uh, get too mad about that. And then last but not least, you have Stitch. Um, on this Kingdom Hearts, he didn't really have too many summon commands, and I think that's on King a lot of his Kingdom Hearts games. On the Kingdom Hearts game, so uh, Stitch Rider can last. Like I said, like the actual how the way he starts off the uh, his summons and everything, it's not very effective because he make triangles and they don't really do anything to after the finish command is done and stuff. Especially at least you're vulnerable to actually get attacked. It's like there's nothing to actually protect you. With, with from all the summonings, there's nothing to protect you from anything. You can still get hit, but I feel like that's that's the most vulnerable summoning that he has on Kingdom Hearts three. So I have to go with him being last. Now, is it very effective when he actually gets all the like all the uh, places that he need to? But other than that, it's really not my best one. I would rate, so I have to put that to one last. But if you enjoy, I hope that y'all enjoy. I love Kingdom Hearts, and y'all know this stuff, okay? So, yeah, I hope that's enjoyed. As you can see, I got a green screen. Well, most likely the green screen is kind of cut off because I put myself into the video. But I got a green screen, y'all, so I'm just testing it out and everything. So I hope that y'all enjoy. If you want more Kingdom Hearts content, please comment down below. And I will see y'all next time because that's on period. <laughs> Bye, guys.